these 10 individuals, um, I started, I sent out to my newsletter, which is over 100,000 subscribers. I sent out, besides these 10, I sent out and said, you know, I'm looking for ambassadors. I'm looking for people who want to make an impact in the world with my book. My book is about these seven things. And if somebody reads this book, most likely they will be able to unleash their greatness. So do you want to be the ambassador who unleashes greatness in others? And I got so many requests and we ended up picking, I think it was 600 individuals that joined my Facebook private group. And every single day I would give them the ins and outs of what I was doing. I was telling them the behind the scenes. I tried this, it didn't work. So if you're launching something, don't do it. So these 600 individuals, and guess what? Out of the 600 individuals, I think it was 89 of them were very active all the way until May 12th when I gave birth to the book. So I like to go big and wide and then get a small amount of people that are very dedicated to you. The wider the net, the more chances you have of having a bigger loyal team. Does that make sense? So don't limit yourself, but open it up to whoever you know, and then it ends up having a certain amount of people that will be loyal. So besides the 10, I had almost 80 people that were constantly in my Facebook, retweeting and doing everything that I said, can you please do this? And they would do it. All right. Uh, and, and when you're, you know, I suppose, connecting with these people or, or communicating with them, asking them, you know, can you, you know, share this? Can you retweet this? Uh, how were you communicating? What was kind of like the best form? What was working for you? Absolutely. So we had a private group on Facebook and in this Facebook group, every morning I would start with a very inspirational message. I hope everybody's having a great day. And then I would say to them, these are the five things I want to accomplish today. I would love to have retweets. I would love to get on a blog. I would, anybody know any podcasters that I can be on? And I would send out these little like um, ideas of what I wanted to achieve. The next day I would check in and say, oh, I only got one podcast, but if anybody else knows any podcasters, this is what I'm looking for. And people would then write in what they thought. I put them in charge. It was almost like I was giving them um, this, this authority to help me to be part of what I was doing. I made them part of what I was launching. They actually felt that they were playing a big part and they were playing a big part. Yeah, that's interesting. Like uh, we, we've talked about um, memberships previously uh, with other interviews uh, and how the sense of belonging, the sense of um, you know, being the part of the creation process, uh, how important that is to create these loyal customers or, or partners uh, or whatever you're looking for in these, in these relationships. Absolutely. So for me, I'm really big on relationships. And these ambassadors till today, you know, I launched my book in May and now we're being interviewed. I, I don't even know what month. We're in December. These individuals still today email me, you know, Lolly, um, I spoke about your book today. Lolly, I need 10 more books because I want to give it as Christmas presents. Lolly, what can I do to help you? They are so loyal. They're still burning the flame for this, you know, launch because they've been part of it. They can't let go. They're so loyal.